Hey, this is gonna be short but sweet. I got this next door neighbor, he's really awesome. Um, I remember when we moved in, when we bought this house and moved in, the very next day I went and introduced myself to him. And he was on his yard welding something, making something out of steel pipes. And I asked him, what are you doing? And he said, I'm building an exhaust manifold for my car. And I was like, I mean, it's already a pretty neat thing if you can change that yourself into your car, but making that out of steel pipes and whatnot, that's pretty amazing. And then he told me that he had been a mechanic for a car racing team and he knew how to make a better exhaust manifold that you can get from the parts bin. He also had renovated his entire house and I don't mean like changing wallpapers or anything like that. He raised the entire roof about one meter to get more headroom into his house. So he's one of those guys who has all the tools you would ever need and can fix anything you put in front of him. He's also a pretty nice fellow. So the other day he invited me to take a look at his newest project. Um, he is fixing this old gigantic barn on a farm not so far away from where we live. And then he said that he had taken a look at my pictures online and that he thinks that there may be something interesting there for me to photograph. And I was like, okay. So I knew a little bit in advance. I knew that it's going to be a big red barn and then I knew that it's going to be in a state of despair. And so for anything big, you want to have a big lens. And since I'm currently so excited about my Kiev 60, I decided that this would be my tool set. A Kiev 60, you know, this Zodiac 8, uh, fish eye lens and then the normal Volna 3 lens. This should do. And then for anything that is in a state of despair uh, I want to push the film. Now HP 5 Plus this is the most versatile black and white film that you can find. Ilfo Delta 30 200 would have been even better for that kind of uh, grainy look but I didn't have that at my disposal so HP 5 plus so immediately when we got there I noticed that the surroundings of that barn is is too busy there's too many things going on so it's not something that you would photograph from outside but then from inside it was really amazing you know a few little windows let a little bit light inside and all those wooden structures and all that mess that was gorgeous but there was so little light that i really need to push my ilford hp5 plus and i decided to push this all the way to 6400 that means 8 16 32 64 that means four stops so what does that mean it means that i put this film into my camera and i pretend that it is an asa 6400 film so that means that i underexpose my film and then i go home and i develop it and i overdevelop my film so in the normal circumstances if i had shot this film as an asa 400 i would develop it 8.5 minutes in Extol developer but now I would develop it about 26 27 minutes um, because I need to get all those little light particles to react with the silver um, that means pushing underexposing when you are shooting it and then overexposing or overdeveloping when you are developing it underexposing overdeveloping now when you push film so aggressively you lose a lot of details and you get a lot of grain. But for these circumstances that was only a good thing. I mean those cars and that old Fortune tractor that was parked there like decades ago, you know, they like that kind of a film look. So here are a few pictures. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now this neighbor, he doesn't only fix his car, but he also makes his car parts. And he doesn't only fix his own house, but he fixes barns in neighboring counties. And he's an excellent photo session manager. Who would have thought? Way to go, neighbor. Thank you. 